Not everything has to be complicated. This is one of our shortest ingredient lists and one of the best stir fries you'll ever have. Okay, so today we are making drunken noodles. This recipe is traditional, but it's also traditional for this recipe to kind of color outside the lines. It seems to me like whatever restaurants happen to have on hand, they're gonna kind of throw in this. There's also a lot of traditional ingredients that are always gonna be in it. Josh, why is it called drunken noodles? Do you put a little... No, there's no alcohol involved in this. Supposedly it dates back to when people would be drinking and they're like, oh, I need a little boom. And then restaurants were like, wow, you're pretty plastered, brother. And they would give them this. Is that true? I have no idea. I wasn't around when it was invented. So with that being said, let's make this, shall we? So as we know, these aren't drunken noodles because they're made with alcohol. Although, if you happen to be a little sauced up, I imagine this is actually easy enough to make, even though you might be a little bit blitz, brother. Speaking about being sauced, let's begin with the sauce. Very simple, small bowl. To that you'll add one tablespoon or 20 grams of fish sauce, one tablespoon or 15 grams of regular soy sauce, one tablespoon or 15 grams of dark soy sauce, and two tablespoons or 35 grams of oyster sauce. Let's get together, yes, that's actually it. Believe it or not. The rest of this is very simple. So please don't go around trying to substitute these lovely ingredients because this is the base of flavor. So all this is simple, but mandatory. You'll need broad rice noodles, which are shockingly difficult to find. These are just broad enough, but make sure they're 100% rice. Get yourself a beautifully seasoned wok. Heat it over the power of the sun, also known as high heat. Add about two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil to your wok. Heat it, swirling the oil around to cook the whole darn thing. Then once it begins to smoke, add eight ounces or 227 grams of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Cut in a half inch pieces. Let those sear for about two minutes, agitate them, seed them a bit more, and repeat for four to five minutes or until the chicken is decently browned and cooked all the way through. Now once it's done, remove your chicken, re-oil your wok, then once it's ripping hot again, add in one large shallot thinly sliced, season lightly with salt, and stir fry for about two minutes or just until the onion begins to turn translucent. Then add eight cloves, yes, don't be making those I use so much garlic jokes, and then start to back up here. Now stir fry for another minute or just until fragrant, then add a mix of one very finely chopped red fresno chili and two Thai chilies very very thinly sliced. Stir fry that for another 30 seconds. Then add your eight ounces or 227 grams of wide or broad dried rice noodle that have been rehydrated according to its package directions. Anyway, add that to the pan along with your cooked chicken. Stir fry all together for another minute or two. Then once the veg is evenly distributed, add in your sauce, let it boil vigorously while tossing and stir frying until you get a nice glaze like coating on your noodles. About 45 seconds. Now, very important, cut off the heat and then add one cup or 13 grams of whole Thai basil or ideally holy basil leaves gently tossed together to distribute evenly and until they are just wilted. The rest just requires a bowl, layer on your drunken noodles, hit with additional herbs and toppings if desired, and enjoy immediately. Now let's taste test. Drunken noodles. Do these noodles look drunk to you? <coughs> I'm gonna eat these noodies now. Mm. Ow, I just bit the out of my cheek. Let me kiss it. The inside of my mouth. It's very straightforward flavor. It's savory, salty umami. It's not as sweet. It's not like a pad thai. There's not a lot of sourness. There's not a lot of sweetness. It's a very savory dish. This is almost like um, you're having a night out. You're tired or whatever you're feeling. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. Hopefully it's legal. Keep it legal. And you just crave something. You want a piece of pizza, something savory, rich, indulgent. This has that quality, but it doesn't make you feel terrible. I could eat a whole bowl of this, walk away feeling great. Yeah, sure, I might be a little farty from all the chilies in it, but that's fine. It's fine. This is a proper bowl to have night out, late night in, doesn't matter. It's, you can pull this together in 15 minutes and it's a beautiful time. But do you wanna know what else is a beautiful time? B-roll. <laughs> 